Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. So today we are going to learn about the Exios. Exios is basically a promise-based HTTP client for the browser and the Node.js. So you can see that it has too many downloads. That's why it's too much popular. For so if you want any kind of like you want to hit the API and you want to get the response back from that API and manipulate accordingly. So this is the best package ever for the Node.js, React.js, anyone you can use the Exios in any of your project of Node. Okay, so let's see how we are going to implement it and its documentation is very, very good. You can see that if I go and uh, check out over here, see there are each and the, you can also map up with the TypeScript also. Okay, and you can also go with the default one also, right? So, so the example is so let's have a look of that I have already created. So here we go with this one. So you can see that here, this is express we have used now exuse. So here I have just used the get API over here. So this is the get one, right? To get the uh, to do, this is the basically JSON placeholder is just a fake rest APIs that you can use and uh, manipulate and check the data is coming or not. Neither note to go for like creating the APIs and then test. You can replace later on, okay? So here I have used the JSON placeholder for the fake rest APIs and here if I want to get it the two, so you can see that then response, I can do the response, what the response is getting on and what the error that they are logging on. Okay, so it's a guest response. This is a post response where I am sending the data. Here I'm going to send another data with the body with a user ID. Okay, and then print that data. Okay, so let's run this functionality. And here the to do's to be two. Okay, so here we go with this one. So you can see that. So I'm going to note index.js. So here you can see that the user ID is one, two, and this is the false. And the uh, another thing that I have put in the post bar. So here we go with this one. Okay, so there are simple methods that we can use. So let's check out one by one. So first method is that is the get one. So this is basic simple. You need to put exios.get whatever the URL you have then and the function response and then catch response. Okay. Next next one that this is the get one. Okay. So if you go to the next one that is the post request. So I already give the example of the post where you need to post all the data over here then console the, console the response and you will get accordingly. Okay. Moving to the next part that we have post and you can make the, make the same request as a put also, right? If you want to pass the headers, you can also pass the headers also. Okay. You can also use this response also. So here we have a request, get, delete, head, options, post, put, patch. So these are, you can see, exos.get we have used. Delete, you can use like this. Header, you can use this. Options, post, put, patch. So these are all the functions that can be used for calling the best APIs in, with the help of the Exios. Okay, so here this is the header part, right? If you want to create that, you can. This is the headers that you can pass it over here. Okay, so let, let's see more over. They have the functions or not. This is the best package that can you can use. By default, there is a fetch, but uh, this is the most popular that uh, most of the developers are using this. Okay. So you can go with that one. So the rest did. Um, I think that is multiple function calling is there. Okay, and uh, post request we have already the same. You can make it put request also because we they have the parameter of put post also. So uh, what I have done is like I am just using this one, creating a uh, this one. So you can combine the relations and uh, play with that one and check the response accordingly. Okay. So uh, from uh, from my side, I think the Exos is the one of the most popular library for uh, like uh, for getting the data for the via the REST API. So you can use it and it is very easy, very simple. Any doubt, any query in that, just let me know in the comment section. And they have the very good documentation also. You can follow the process also any query you can just write me down write me down in the comment section i will reply on that okay thank you so much for watching this video have a great day